Oh, about, um, let's say about 10 years, more than 10 years ago or something. 95, when's that? 95, man. Time flies by. 15 years ago, around 94, 95, 96, um, I was getting involved in the conspiracy, it, what, what was now called the truther movement, I suppose. Uh, and it was because of the Waco, uh, what happened with Waco. And there's two aspects of this that I wanted to talk about. One was uh, most of the stuff that you're going to hear is just propaganda or garbage. It's people that have just lost their mind and they are running around, spinning around, and they don't know head from, they don't know up from down, and they spread around a bunch of nonsense and and, and they don't know anything about science, and so they uh, they think they do, but they don't. Okay, so uh, that is the let's just say that that is the uh, the end result of a kind of like a disease okay and the beginning of the disease is when you start to realize that baseball hot dogs apple pie the constitution all that stuff is just a fairy tale that this country is no longer really what it was cut out to be and that there always has been this uh elite group of people that have influenced what's been going on and um, I don't really need to say a lot about it okay so now let's look at this um, okay let's take a look at um, what the problem is the problem is there's a lot of facts and figures flying around about there and people want to research this and know what's going on they feel that it's important that they know uh, everything about the conspiracy, everything about what's going to happen, and there's there it's a it's a valid logical progression of things to do. Okay, there's nothing really wrong with it. However, the problem is there's so much garbage out there and you have to verify all of it and it's almost impossible to verify all of this stuff um, and what's gonna happen is you're gonna be mentally obsessed with it and this is me I have an obsessive type of personality and you're gonna get mentally obsessed and you're gonna become mentally imbalanced and then you're going to be like one of these people that everything they look at is the the conspiracy you know, they look at product labels and they say, oh, there's something, there's a conspiracy in this. They they go nuts. And, you know, have you, I don't know if you've seen the movie 23. It's kind of like that. The guy just, everything adds up to 23, you know. And, uh, or, you know, it's a beautiful mind, uh, the beautiful mind movie where the guy was nuts. And he was just everything, you know, he thought that there he was exposing some kind of a, a plan or decoding something I forgot what it, what it was all about but that that will happen to you the people I think it it that they're sane people that go crazy and we think that our minds can handle way more than they, what they really can but they can't our minds are really fragile and we're already at full tilt right now just living in this society fighting the traffic uh, if you go to work and you fight the truck, unless you live out in the country on a farm or something, and even that's getting complicated because you got all these regulations and all this stuff, the, the world is just too complex, too stressful right now. And to add to that, and don't try to be the hero, don't put, put the weight of the world on your shoulders, you know. And I have a tendency to do this, but I know that, you know, I can only go so far and I do so much. I'm not going to go overboard with it, you know. Uh, just do it for a while and then that's it. Okay, I've done my piece, but I've been meaning to do this video for a while and I actually started to make recordings about it because I wanted to make it a really um, uh, Sorry, this camera just kind of messed up here But I want to make it, you know, 
a production out of it or something like that, but it doesn't need to be. It's a very simple message. The message is that you're going to go crazy if you continue to pursue all these uh, conspiracy theories. The devil's going to take advantage of the fact that you've mentally frazzled, and then you're going to start hearing things and seeing things, and you're going to it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. And if you're taking caffeine or any kind of drugs or anything like that, it's going to make it worse. Because I used to drink a lot of coffee and I used to do other things that I shouldn't be doing. And that all contributed and I ended up started, starting to get extremely paranoid and really stressed out and just started to, you know, feel like running for the hills, you know, whatever. <laughs> all the crazy stuff that you would think to do. And eventually you start talking to yourself and you start talking to other people uh, and saying don't you know about this and you just start acting funny and and uh, you don't want to do that it's dangerous road you know that's the only thing you've got really is your sanity if you don't have your mind you don't have anything you're poor um, you don't have the peace of mind you know we're supposed to have a peace peace of mind about us. Uh, now the other thing I want to talk about was just what's bogus and what's not. The, the, don't get into astrology. Don't get into stuff about planets that much. Okay, it's the planets have a very very small effect on us. Jupiter and all that they don't have that huge of an effect on us. The moon does because it's of our, our tides, and you just that is just not scientific to say that some there's some other planet out there that's huge like Nibiru or something or some comet that's minuscule I mean the the, the um, comet element is just minuscule okay and then the chemtrails well I mean just take it at face, face value what do you see in those chemtrail photos they're contrails right so how are you gonna prove that those are really chemtrails you're not so you're going to end up going nuts chasing something down that you're never going to be able to prove. You're eventually going to just self-fulfill your belief that it's really there's really something behind it. That's what happens is you start to just think, well, there's got to be something behind this, and you just believe it. You make that leap, and then you start believing it. And then you start believing your own lies, and then you are, just lose track of the truth, you know? And it's just it's a downward spiral to go in, man. And I've seen too many people that are Christians that are acting crazy, foolish, and losing their mind. And I'm reading in uh, Second Thessalonians 2, you know, don't be uh, dismayed at what's going on. We're heading into some strange times, and the best thing to do is to rely on, to turn to God when you see all these things going on. You know, don't close your eyes and bury your wool, you know, head in the thing, you know, in the ground. Keep your eyes open. You know, if you see some video, watch it, you know, but, or whatever, you know, that, but don't get, don't get crazy about it. That's going to, you know, don't get too much into it. Okay. So, um, I don't know if there's anything else I can say to convince anybody. I just, from my own experience, okay, what happened to me and what I saw going on, it spiritually killed me and it mentally killed me. And I don't want to do that again. I don't want to repeat that mistake again. And uh, and so I'm trying to prevent you guys from from uh, getting off balance. And and um, you know I, I've been around a while and I've been through a lot of different things. And and I can tell you right now, I'm really mentally like very fragile. I can't handle a lot of different stressful changes and stuff like that going on. And I think most people are like that. I don't think it's just me. I think it's just the way we're made. You know, we're not made to handle all kinds of crazy stuff like that. You know, and a lot of those people that are spreading that around were in Vietnam, and they that messed them up being in Vietnam, or they're in the Gulf War, or they're just in some stressful situation. You know, in the military or something like that, and that it just it they they cracked. And then they're now they're just going on and on and on and they can't stop. They're just in bondage to that. So just stay away from that, you guys. Uh, I beg of you, please, just take a break from it. Stand back from the woods. Take a look at it and say, is this make doing any damage to me? You know, just do that. I hope this this helps somebody out there. Because I mean, I think I can really help somebody if I can just get you to stop and look and take a deep breath and say, wait a second. This is kind of crazy, okay?